Hello guys, this is Mark the Geek. In this video I'm bringing you how to get your AR cards for the PS Vita on your smartphone. Um, first of all, if you bought a Japanese um, um, PS Vita like I did, I got mine on December, well most likely you didn't get AR cards. So, you could go to a website, like you can see here I got the AR card number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. That's all the AR cards that come with the with the PS Vita if you bought it in the United States or in Europe or any other place that included them. But I bought it and I didn't have them. The way to get them, you could go here. Let me show you guys. Um, you could go to the official website which says US Place. Let me put it in landscape mode. Uh, US PlayStation.com PS Vita apps and says at the end it says AR Play and you could go ahead they'll show you all the functions and how the PS the AR works and here if you see if you look closely maybe you've been here and didn't see this if you look closely you can says download additional AR card in PDF format so here you got the card one two three four five six if you hit number six, you will get a a download. So to save as, once you download to save as, it will com it completely download. You can open it up with um, with any PDF reader app, and right here, you go ahead and have it on your phone. Voila! And this is the most difficult way. Uh, there's another easy way. You could go to. Um, our buddies at IGN.com and IGN if you go to IGN.com wikis PS Vita digital PS Vita and there's gonna be here there's gonna be a, here the section that says digital augmented reality cards so right here the cards are already available as an image you can go ahead press on any one of them uh, once you press on one of them, it should appear right here. There it is. And here you got the options to um, view, or you could just press on it. Once you press on it and hold it, you could save image. And there it goes. Once you save the image, it will save it to your gallery. For me, that's the best way because you can save it to your gallery and just open it up and look. You have a full screen card. Uh, same way you could do with every card, and it works perfectly. And you can have it in one folder, just like I do. You know, I got all my cards in one folder. Okay. So I'm gonna show you how it works with the new um, res Resistance AR Monument Viewer. It's it's from the game coming up. Um, when you go at it, it even has a manual <laughs> telling you, showing you how it works okay but let's go right here and let me get the camera so right away there it goes oh. okay there it goes like you can see Like you can see there, all you could all, all, all it is is the the characters from the AR game, from the resistance game, and the guy has an action. It looks very nice. I don't know if it can and like you can see like well boom 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 <laughs> so it does work. And of course, and it works with every game too. I tested the other games that are available for free, like diving, fireworks, and this. The only ne the only problem you would encounter is with those games that require more than one AR card. It would suck because you only have one phone. So, like you can see there, it works. I'm using my phone, and it works perfectly. So that's it guys, I'm going to leave a, a link on both links, the, the official PlayStation and the IGN link on my description so that way you could download it 
put it on your phone it works on any phone it works on Android phone and it works on, on iPhone so okay guys I hope you like this tip till next time